Hi you all welcome back. In this video I am going to explain an example of the epsilon NFA for the problem of decimal numbers. That means that should accept all the all kinds of decimal numbers for that problem we need to construct the epsilon NFA. Okay uh, let us consider the string. Let us consider the language first. So all these are the decimal number we are having. We know that decimal number consisting of a dot and before dot and after dot uh, that means that that dot is referred as a decimal point. And before and after that we may have some digits and uh, some decimal points may have sign and some decimal points may don't have any sign they can be directly written as 7.38 like that. So for this problem we need to construct the DFA sorry epsilon NFA. Let us consider the minimal string if you observe here the minimal string consisting of how many digits here is the symbol we are having here is at least one digit before a decimal point and decimal point is another digit and after decimal point we are having a minimal of one uh, digit. So that's why it is having minimal, uh, its length of the minimal string is 4. That's why we need to take 5 straights minimum. Right? So let us draw 5 straights. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and make the last state as the final state and first state as the initial state. And First, we need to construct the NFA to accept the minimal string minus 0 0.1. So, I can write minus here, I can write 0 here, I can write decimal point here and I can write 1 here. So, this is the minimal, N this is the NFA to accept the minimal string. So, we need to make it to accept all kinds of decimal values. Okay. So, for that, you may have minus sign or you may have plus sign. So, that's why you can write plus also here. And you may have uh, before decimal point you have one uh, zero or one or two or so on and right. So you can have any kinds of digits from zero to nine before decimal point. Similarly, after decimal point also you may have the digits like uh, zero, one, two, three, so on and up to nine, right? Any kind of digit you may have. So if you observe here, after decimal point you are having five. After decimal point you are ha ha having eight here, and after decimal point you are having three here like that. So here also you can have uh, 0, 1, simil, uh, so on down up to 9 symbols you can have after decimal point. Okay and after that uh, not only one symbol right. So uh, if you observe here uh, before decimal point and after decimal point you may have more than one symbol. More than one symbol you are having. So you can have uh, before decimal point you can have a loop and from that uh, you can take uh, 0 to 9 any number of times. Similarly after decimal point also you can take a loop and you can have the digits from 0 to 9 any number of times. Any number of times you can have digits from 0 to 9. This is the uh, NFA for the given problem. But if you observe uh, for some uh, cases for some examples you are having sign here minus sign you are having plus sign here but the decimal numbers like this may don't have any kind of sign. So without consuming any sign also we need to have a decimal number. So without consuming any input in the sense we need to add epsilon here. Because we are going to construct the epsilon NFA we can have a transition without consuming any input symbol. So in such case you can have uh, you can uh, reach the Q1 state by considering uh, I mean without considering any symbol. In such case this particular decimal number 7.38 is also accepted. So let us check whether it is accepting all the uh, strings we have uh, in the language or not. The first consider this minimal string minus 0 0.1. So here you can take minus from here and 0 0.1. So it reaches the final string. Let us consider next uh, uh, string plus 2.56. So you can take plus here 2.56. So you can take 5 from here you can take 6 from here as your wish. And after that you are having 7.38. So you can uh, have uh, with, uh, it, it doesn't have any symbol so you can transition you can make transition first with the epsilon and after that 7.38 so you can take 7 from here and after that uh, point you are having and 38 you can take 3 from from here and you can take 8 from here and similarly you are having minus 4 uh, 467.35 four so you can take minus from here 467 so you can tra make transition with 4 and 6 7 you can take from this and after that you are having decimal point and 3, 5. So you can have 3 from here and you can have 5, uh, five like this and finally you reach the 
finance rate. So this is the required epsilon NFA for the given problem and thank you for watching the video.